My girlfriend said she'd quite like a classic Ford Mustang for us to share, but it had to be right-hand drive, black, and a manual. To me, that sounds like a lot of money. So I kind of changed the specifications a little bit. So this is my trusty new steed, my kind of midlife crisis at the age of 25. This is a Triumph Herald, and I've had a little bit of experience with Triumph, and that was just that one of my friends, Ashley, has a yellow Triumph Dolomite. You can watch that video in this top-hand corner if you would like to. And yes, it's not a Mustang. It's not the Mustang that my missus thought that one day we may get, and we will, I, I promise. I, I, I will buy it one day. But for now, this will have to do, and do you know what? This kind of colour coordination with the matte black and the chrome and then the red leather interior blows my kind of preconceptions of any Triumph. And this thing simply looks badass. It's just the 60s look is so brilliant. And then these mirrors that literally sit right on your bonnet here. And then these are the bonnet releases. There we go. <laughs> How amazing is that? And that is your engine just in there. It literally looks like some kind of little race car. Oh, just, it just makes me so happy to look at this. Anyway, we shall put that down and look around the rest of the car. So we've got the, the doors that for some reason don't stay open no matter how far you take the travel, but it doesn't matter. You should get in here, it's got this red leather interior big steering wheel, managed to get the seat back. Thank you very much, Ashley, for coming down and showing me that because I was trying it, but it wasn't moving, but he did manage to get it moved. Just so simple in there. It's got no extras. It doesn't need extras. It's not even got a radio. It's not got heating, but you don't need it. It's a lovely little runaround. Now, of course, you've got the wheels, which are staggered Spitfire wheels. So you've got slightly bigger kind of um, face. I don't know what you call them. All the wheel whores will absolutely destroy me on this, but this bit here is bigger than on the front. It's just amazing. It's kind of Americana with these pieces here coming off the back. It kind of does give that Americana vibe. It's just, oh, just so 60s and oh, I think it's an absolute shame that we've kind of moved away from that and we're not doing that anymore. We're just making soulless boxes to travel around in and one day nobody will appreciate a vehicle because all of these will one day be gone apart from the people that obviously hold on to them and look after them. How long will we be allowed to drive these cars on the road? Who knows? This kind of design is built upon a chassis that Giovanni Michelotti created and designed because the chassis is really quite unique in the way that you can literally just bolt all the panels onto it, which means Triumph was able to use a single chassis for loads of Herald designs and it meant that stuff like trim levels didn't mean that you just had slightly different stuff inside. It meant that actual body panels could be different for each trim level. The interior is obviously very basic, as you'd expect from a 1965 car. But this red leather interior looks really, really nice. It needs a little bit of a clean up. The wheel is a little bit big, like it's just, I'm right back as far as it will go, but it's literally stuck on my legs. I've got this for some reason. Oh, I just lost my gear knob. Eight ball. Do my gear stick? Why not? Very, very simple, one central dial to show how fast you're going, and that goes up to 90. This car would have originally kind of done around 82 miles an hour, but it's got a 1300 Spitfire engine in it. So they are either gonna be, I think it's a top speed of 100 miles an hour or 90 miles an hour, depending on which variant from which era. It's either the Mark III or the Mark IV. Got a little temperature gauge there. Obviously you've got your choke, which is something that a lot of modern drivers will never have used. I didn't use one until I got the car literally a couple of days ago. Got the lights there, window washers there, and this tiny little glove box, which is at the moment, it's got my centerpiece for my wheel because it keeps popping out for some reason. Got a button here, don't know what that is. Got a button down here, not quite sure what that is. Maybe window washers, potentially. Got a roll cage. <laughs> I don't know what this car's been used for, but it's got a roll cage welded into it which is pretty cool. I do like that. What's it like to drive? Well, we'll go have a look. Why not? It's a nice Sunday afternoon. Let's go and drive my 1965 Triumph Herald that isn't a Mustang around the local area. Oh, it just feels so good driving this car. It just feels like there's no worries. It feels like it's from a time where life was just simpler. I've got loads of different types of cars, you know, nothing too crazy, but I've got the S4. I've got that for the speed and usability. 
I've got the Saab because I wanted to drive it out to Wales for a picnic. I drove a four and it was 300 pounds and I loved it. Took it from Land's End to John O'Groats and back in two days. Had an Audi A8 that just broke every time I looked at it. Oh, I better change gear, I'm not on an auto now. Uh, the second's here somewhere, there it is. Got a C32 that I, to be honest, haven't really driven. Still needs a bit of work doing on it, but I quite like that to swap from the W124. So you've got all of those cars that have got their purposes or no purposes, such as just going for a picnic. Literally bought myself to go for a picnic. And then I've got this. A car that both me and my girlfriend can drive around on a day like today and go and have a picnic or go and do whatever the hell we want for the day, go down to a beach and just enjoy it. This is why I bought this car. It makes me so happy. People don't understand that we're living in a world now where cars are just boxes. They're shells of what they used to be. This is what you want. You want something like this. You want something that people drive past and they go, I haven't seen one of those since I was a teenager. Rear wheel drive. Oh, let's give it some. Oh, you're probably jumping all around because nothing in this car stays still. Come on, 35 miles an hour. You can do it. 40. It's screaming its tits off. Into fourth. Oh, yes. And that's all I've got. Four gears and it's this loud at 55 miles an hour. Oh, my God. 60. It's so loud. 65. Sorry, I meant 60. It's national speed limit here. I think everyone drives past looking at you saying, to themselves. I wish I was that guy. I wish I was driving a Triumph, a Triumph Herald that looks and sounds like that on a Sunday morning. And that is what the car community is all about. Everyone drives different things, but we all have the same love, especially when we see something that we can look at and go, it's still on the road 57 years later, nearly six decades. It's just brilliant. You can have your electric cars. I'm having this. Oh, it's roaring. Oh, yes. It's going. <laughs> oh, my God. Literally, it's got shivers down my spine. And when you get used to driving it, it drives just like a standard car, in a way. Do you know what I mean? It keeps up with traffic without any issues whatsoever. I very much doubt that you're still with me. I don't have very much battery on that phone at all. But if you are still with me, thank you very much for watching. The reason I buy cars like this is because I can then put them on YouTube and maybe, maybe one day if I'm lucky enough, it will all come to fruition and I'll be able to actually make some money back. So thank you for supporting the channel. Love it, absolutely love it. The people that watch me day in, day out, I know there's a couple that do, I really do appreciate you. I don't know why, I feel really emotional. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Please do hit that like button, it pushes it up in the algorithm and more people can see it and that helps me out and it helps you out because it means I can do more for the channel. And please do comment below, let me know what you think of the Triumph that isn't a Mustang.